The state awarded nearly 60 high schools across the Commonwealth grant money to host financial education fairs to teach students about the real world. Western Mass is getting answers on how two communities here in Western Mass are using that money to help their students learn the importance of financial literacy. From taxes to credit scores to renter's insurance to the cost of groceries, all concepts many high school students would call adult problems. We're still kids. We're still living with our parents most of the time. So we don't, that's not at the forefront of our mind. But that's something school districts are working to change. Thanks to several state agencies, more than $220,000 was issued to dozens of high schools across the state, including Aguam and West Springfield. Both high schools receiving over $6,000 each to host credit for life fairs for their students. They will kind of be seeing it from square one. I'm going to get a I'm going to get a credit score. I've gone to college. Now I have college debt. I have a little bit in savings, but now I'm going to go into my career. And my career, I make this much, this much minus out all the taxes. So what's my net pay? And then what's your monthly? What do you get monthly? Based on that monthly number, I now need to go figure out what I can afford. Lisa Sheehan is the Career Center Coordinator at Aguam High School and the one spearheading their event. We don't want kids to be in debt. We don't want them to be like, oh, I just got a credit card and my interest rate's like 30% because my credit score is so bad. Why is my credit score so bad? Well, now we're going to try to teach you things to do so that your credit score will be decent. The goal, give students a taste of what it will be like after graduation and give them the chance to make money mistakes before it really matters. I've seen the students go back and say, okay, I need to start over again. I need to now see that I need to get a roommate and then we need to get, you know, rental insurance and all of that. Agwam senior Isabella Fleury telling Western Mass News she and her classmates are looking forward to the fair and the lessons that come with it. I think it's a great opportunity and all the kids are very excited for it and they're excited to take charge of their lives and be like, OK, I know I can do this or I know I have to work a little bit harder to get what I want when I'm older. And West Springfield High School is taking a similar approach with their grant money, but their students will be using their cell phones to simulate a real life experience. It's a really nice simulation of kind of a real life experience for these students before they step into life beyond high school, which I think is critically important. Instead of paper and pen, West Springfield seniors will be using an app to navigate their school's credit for life fair. Colin Moje, school counselor and fair organizer, telling us students will select a career the day before the fair. That decision will set them on a path in this mock game of life with the hope of teaching important financial lessons. The experience themselves as a collective is to be able to say, Every decision that I make with regard to my career, any type of investment, any type of expenditure that I need to make a thoughtful decision throughout that process and that it does have a real impact on how the rest of my career, future, or however you want to frame it, could look. Now both Sheehan and Moje hope to continue those fairs in the future. Aguams is set to take place on April 10th from 8 to 11 a.m. and West Springfield's fair will happen on April 30th.